everybody, Stephen Jondre here from GunnaGeek.com and from Better Podcasting. Here with a bit of a walkthrough video. This time we're going to be talking a little bit about how to hook several different microphones together using USB and record them into a Windows computer. That's right, I've got my Audio-Technica AT2005, my Samson Q2U, and my Audio-Technica ATR2100. And all of these are hooked up through USB into my Windows computer. So I'm going to go ahead and explain a little bit how I'm able to record these all at the same time. Now, before I do continue, I want to just preface this and say that I have not tried this in an actual recording scenario. Now, this is going to be based off of a utility that I have used before in the past to do recording scenarios, but this exact method I haven't done myself. So I mean, maybe you can give it a try, but um, I just don't personally have a use to record three different microphones at one time. So hopefully this will work for you. Now, in order to do this, of course, you're going to need a Windows computer. You're going to need three different microphones or as many as you need to uh, have in your room. So if it's only two, then two different microphones. If it's four, four different microphones. And I do say different microphones because that will allow this utility to work the best. I've read some scenarios where people have been able to use the same type of microphone together with the utility I'm about to talk about. However, apparently it does work a lot better if you just have different types of microphones just because Windows will read them differently. So if you're looking for three, I just mentioned three. And if you need a link, uh, we'll have that in the below description. And yes, that will be an affiliate link. You're also going to need a utility called Osseo for All. That's A-S-I-O, the number four, then the word all, A-L-L. -L. And this is something that I have used before. If you type it into Google, you'll see it really quick, but we will have a link down below. It is a free utility, but uh, this is something that is going to sort of make this all work together. And then the last thing that you're going to need is a, a piece of software. So something that will record Osseo signals. Now, this is important to know because Audacity won't do that. But a couple that I can talk about is Adobe Audition does it. As well, there's a, a piece of software out there that a lot of people use called Reaper. And that's the one that I'm going to use here. I recognize that a lot of people do use it. So I have just downloaded the demo. Now, I don't have a lot of experience with it myself. But I did download it and give it a try prior to making this video. And so I figured since I know some people who are using this, I'll go ahead and use that for this demonstration. So if you've got all that together, let's go ahead and walk through how this all works. All right. So once you've gone and you've installed Osseo for All and you've done a restart, because it's always good to do that for good measure. Once you've got your microphones plugged in, you've got Osseo for All on. Just do a restart to make sure you're good to go. Open up what you'll be using to record. For this, I'll be using Reaper, as you can see. Now, yes, I have done a bit of a test, so some of this might be a little different than what you see, but I'll still try to get you in the right spot. What you want to do is go Options, Preferences. Wait for the Preferences box to load up. Once it loads up, under Devices, this is what you're going to want to change here. The audio system, by default, I believe it's on direct sound. You're going to want to change that over to Osseo. Wait for that to populate in here. Information will come up. These will usually be, I think, just blank to begin with. Make sure the Osseo driver says Osseo for all. So you can see that I have a few different Osseo options just with the hardware that I've got. You're going to want to make sure that says Osseo for all. And then click Osseo configuration. This will take a moment to load, sometimes longer than others. And then this is where you're going to go in here and set things up. Now, sometimes this will open up and you're going to see that you can go and click on the device you want. And this bar will be here. But if it's not, and it looks like this, click the advanced options wrench right here. I, I know it's got a wrench, right? So do that. And now what you're going to want to do is select the microphones that you want to have 
uh, input into Reaper or whatever you're using. So by default, it'll probably be blank like this. But for me, I'm going to go and I'm going to select the AT2005, the ATR USB microphone, and the Samson Q2U. And once I've clicked those, then I'm going to go ahead and I can either close this if I want or leave it open. I'm going to come over to the inputs, make sure it's checked on enable inputs. I'm going to basically select the first in the list and the last in the list. It's important that you do this um, because otherwise you're not going to be able to select them all in the next steps. So make sure you select the first and the last. I'm guessing that the this is because it's a stereo signal coming in. One's left, one's right. I could be wrong on that, but I believe that's probably why you see two of each. So once you've done that, go ahead and hit OK. And the next thing you're going to want to do is add a track for every single person that or every single microphone, I should say, that you'll be recording. So I'll go in right click, insert new track, insert new track, insert new track. And then here where you see the options to record, I'm going to go ahead and uh, if I click, I'll go input mono, select the first microphone, input mono, select the second microphone, input mono, select the third microphone. And with Reaper, I just need to go ahead and arm the, each of the tracks. And now you can start to see my signals coming in a little bit because the microphones are sitting on my desk. And if I am all ready to go, again, I've got the AT2005, the ATR2100, uh, and the Samson Q2U. In Reaper, I can go ahead and hit record. And now I'll go ahead and lift these microphones up. And you can kind of see there. So right now I am talking into the, and that's pretty loud, so we'd have to go and adjust some levels and whatnot. Again, I'm not a Reaper person, so uh, that's something that I'm sure if you're using Reaper, you know exactly where to do that. So this is the AT2005 microphone, and you can see the others are quieter because I've got them pointed away from me right now. And I'll go ahead and put this on the desk. And now I have the Samson Q2U that I'm talking into. So you can see that that's on that track. And this is the ATR2100 in that middle track there. And I'm recording. So there you go. That's how you go and record. And again, if I go and I lift those all up, you can see uh, if I switch back to the full frame. Well, this is really awkward to balance all these there. If I switch back to the full frame, you'll see that uh, these are straight through USB. So. It's as simple as that if you want to go ahead and hook these up. Again, you can use, I don't know why I'm talking into these, but you can use anything that is ASIO capable. Uh, back when I used to use ASIO for all and a uh, different ASIO device, I used, I think it was Cakewalk Sonar. It came with actually the recording device that I used at the time. So definitely uh, there are some different options out there. Now, again, just to say, again, I have not tried this on a long-term recording setup so for all i know this would crash after 20 minutes i don't know but this is probably the way that i would do it if i was to try it so hopefully you'll have good luck and that was just a quick demo on how you can hook up three microphones through usb and record them in a multi-track scenario using the osseo for all utility if you have any questions let me know and i'll do my best to answer Thanks for checking out this video. And if you did like it, by the way, please subscribe to the channel and check out all the other awesome content at gunnageek.com.